Introducing Tarpon Robotics 6451 with the first generation team members for our team and program. This is our fourth year of competing in an all senior team. With our success from recent years, making it to the world champion two years in a row and starting three new teams after our first year, we plan to keep the ball rolling and bring as many Tarpon Robotics teams as we can everywhere we go. Team members, Mark, JJ, Christian, Nate, and Raphael. The new seniors for our team are Chris and Reed. The creativity in this year's build is not like any other robot there is. We tried to stay low profiled with as lightweight and be as efficient for scoring and climbing as we can. Making cardboard prototypes and drawing sketches before many ideas were finalized along with creating our CAD models before building. Our robot this year is designed to score elements, climb the churros to park in higher zones, and hang on the top bar during endgame. We also use one motor 2 to 1 for speed two-stage thick latex tubing intake designed to lift elements vertically into our basket that is fixed on our robot horizontally. To score the elements, we climb the mountain over the churros using our lift that is on a pivot point at the very rear of our robot. We pivot to get in line with the basket using our longer arm latex tubings on top of our basket. We can sweep elements out of both sides to be able to score in every basket. We use a one-to-one -one drive train with one motor for each side chain driven to every wheel for all wheel power. What makes it easier for us to climb the mountain is our rubber tread we've attached to our stealth wheels to create a knobby wheel with higher traction and on a smaller wheel in the middle to help us over the churro if the robot is stuck between churros. Our lift works with a 2 to 1 for torque, 2 motor linear track system like our recent robot from Block Party, but we have made it more advanced by making it more lightweight with half cut C channels. Loop with string attached to the base of our robot and tied to a pulley on a 2 to 1 for torque with one motor to collapse the robot and be able to hang on the bar completely. Some of our strategies is to outscore the opposing teams during regular gameplay and endgame by scoring the elements into the basket, hanging and parking in zones if time is an issue. Having our own kickoff parties at a friend's house, helping each other in school and on the weekends with our builds, and giving help to our three other teams, 7321 Charlotte Surge, 8908 Robo Mojo, and as a tradition for our school, our new rookie team, 10345 Tiny Tarps. We have multiple means of communication, such as our Twitter account, email, and our Tarpon Robotics website that we update weekly during the season. With the help from our community, we have successfully interested many newcomers from our local middle school to see what we do in First Tech Challenge. Our goal is this year is to show as much Tarpon pride and gracious professionalism within our Tarpon Robotics program and finish our senior year as one large program to be carried on for many more years. We would like to thank all of our sponsors for help supporting our Tarpon Robotics program this year.